Nothing says it's the future like people eating bugs without knowing it. Science fiction authors have long speculated that to manage an ever-growing population and ever-dwindling food supply, we might have to turn to this unlikely source of protein. But do you know this science fiction is already science fact? <laughs> Bugs are extremely healthy and swarming with overabundance. They could become an effective way to combat food shortages and climate change. And if you're thinking that you would never, ever eat food that contains bugs, guess what? You already have. The FDA allows a certain amount of pests in your food. I know, right? A can of sweet corn is permitted to contain two or more corn earworm larvae, larvae fragments, and shed skins. Bon appetit. If that's not disgusting enough, a can of mushrooms is FDA approved to have 20 maggots of any size in one 113-gram can. You won't need to catch up to guess what number five is. We'll give you a hint. While most people might associate this sauce with Italy, it originated in Mexico. Its low cost and the availability of its base ingredient make it a common ingredient in many cuisines. That's right, you guessed it, it's tomato sauce. Fruit flies are greatly attracted to tomato sauce due to the tomato's sweetness and the added sugar. This attraction is so strong that these insects will often lay their eggs in batches of tomato sauce. You're welcome. The FDA's regulations limit tomato sauce to having no more than 15 fruity fly eggs and one or more maggots per 100 gram of sauce. And an acceptable level of mold is permitted on all tomato products, including canned tomatoes, tomato juice, and ketchup. Her? You'd have to be pretty smooth to guess number four on our list. Here's a hint. This versatile food was created for people without teeth, and it has such a high carbon count that scientists discovered they could turn it into diamonds using enough pressure. Any guesses? You're right, it's peanut butter. FDA regulations allow peanut butter to contain a maximum of four insect fragments, also known as insect filth, in eight milligrams. So your 907 grams jar of peanut butter could have over 100 bug parts per jar. Hold on a second, I gotta throw out some peanut butter. To help you guess the third food, we'll give you the sweetest of hints. This bug-based coating has a variety of uses ranging from enhancing the shine of apples, jelly beans, and other foods, to coating pills and varnishing wood. Sitting at number three, it's glazed candies. Many well-known candies, including Junior Mints, Malt Balls, and Candy Corn, contain a shiny confectioner's glaze on their outer shell. This glaze is made from the excreted resin of the lac bug, otherwise known as shellac. Female lac bugs secrete a substance to protect their eggs, typically formed using tree sap that they consume. This material hardens and dissolves in ethanol, which creates the glaze. Products containing this glaze are designated as vegan. According to the FDA, shellac is considered a non-nutritive substance with neither positive nor negative effects on nutrition, and it's generally recognized as safe. It's time for the second most bug-riddled food item, and you've more than likely eaten it. Here's a hint. Like tomato sauce, most people attribute this food to Italy. But the Chinese were the first to eat this food. There are over 600 different shapes of this particular food item. Yep, that's right, it's pasta. FDA regulations allow 454 insect parts per 454 grams of pasta, or 225 insect fragments per 225 grams of pasta. That's one bug part per gram. It's not the pasta shapes that attract bugs, strangely. It's the wheat. When wheat kernels are turned into wheat flour, a key ingredient of pasta, the FDA regulations allow about 32 insect-infested kernels per 100 grams of wheat. French pasta maker Alain Limon decided to add insect protein to his pasta. This sparked demand and quickly became a shop favorite, selling out constantly and becoming a big hit with customers. 
Using pulverized crickets and grasshoppers, Limon's creates pasta that is 7% insect mixture and 93% organic spelt wheat flour. And now it's time for number one, the most positively bug-infested, cringe-inducing food on our list. It's so common, it's already been inside your mouth today. Can you guess what it is? The number one everyday food item full of bugs is seasonings, specifically cinnamon and oregano. Oh my God, I had both today. Bugs have a particular affinity for spices. They eat them, defecate in them, and even leave body parts in them as they go off to die. Oregano can contain 300 insect fragments per 10 grams. Black pepper can have 40 insect fragments in four grams. And marjoram is allowed to contain a whopping 1,175 insect fragments per 10 grams. The most common bugs found in household spices are cigarette beetles, which flock to dried tobacco and pharmaceuticals. Each female cigarette beetle can lay up to 100 eggs on the food her larvae will feed on, but it's not considered harmful to humans or pets. And just so you know, she never smokes around her kids. But how do they get into your spices? Well, they usually fly into storage facilities through open doors and unscreened windows. With these food sources and temperature-controlled environments, insects thrive and reproduce like, well, insects. Whew, that was a lot to take in. We hope you enjoyed our countdown of the top five everyday foods that are full of bugs. If you're looking for a real challenge, check out our video about the most extreme foods here on Origins of Food.